so today i woke up with a little bit of energy in me and i'm like i mean since i'm energetic why not make something for my kids in case you do not know i'm a mom of three oh no i mean i'm a mom of four actually even though the fourth one is currently not here I decided on making something that would at least take them for the week and i'm making like two soups but well, first and first i have to like put on my music because i mean what is kitchen duties without music i hope i'm not the only one that's here when chopping cutting dicing onions because this one was so hot ah a little disclaimer please not a chef so you should know that this is how i want things to be done and that's how i'm doing it i'm not here to scold anybody either so you should know your opinion doesn't really really count this is my pepper mix roughly blended with crayfish and lucas beans adding it to my proteins and oily water um giving it a good mix then here comes the almighty ingredient you could see i had to use um warm water so it could give me a smooth paste just like this coming back to the boiling water mixed with the ingredients here i am putting in my paste my egusi paste in bowls okay not really bowls i'm just sharpening it anyhow because like i said i'm not a chef allow it to cook for a while and come back to it give it a good stir and allow it to cook for a minute again and then you come back with your veggies i don't know if it's equity i'd rather go for either bitter leaf or ogre leaf took a minute to talk with my employer and back to the next soup next i'd be making a curl with a little touch of ogonna all right so this is my ogonna paste i've already done it and you know all these processes i don't have to come and tell you add water add salt put this put that no 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 just basically same procedures but this is ogonna and okra so this is me putting my okra next after i've allowed the ogonna to cook for a minute no for two minutes for i don't know put in my okra and give it a good mix and i allowed it to cook for few minutes came back to it and introduced my vegetable give it a good mix and allow it to cook for a few seconds because we don't want it overly cooked and voila this is what we have i would have sworn that i actually recorded the two soups after i was done cooking but i think i forgot to press the record button anyways these are my children well they were enjoying their meal if you've watched to this point thank you for watching bye loves